following tarot card reading is rated Cancer, welcome to your Storms of Passion love reading for the month of September 2022. All right, now, my darling, before we begin, if you'd like a personal reading and you want to contact me, then the way to do so is definitely up there on that screen, baby. All right, now, love. That's all of my personal information, just in case you need to contact me for a personal reading. Now, if this reading is resonating with you, then Cancer, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Hit that bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more uh, of your videos. Now, if this reading is not resonating with you, then don't worry about all that. I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time. And I know I haven't been doing your readings like that, Cancer, but you can expect to hear from me a lot more, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and dive into your reading now. Okay. You see, Cancer, I can see that you're dealing with somebody who has been giving you a hard time. All right, this person has been very difficult to shake or get rid of, okay? And the reason why this person is giving you such a difficult time to walk away is because they see you as their addiction and they need you, Cancer, okay? Now, when you're faced with someone like this who is addicted to you, it's very difficult to, to get rid of them because it's like I can see that you were a very good lover to this person. And this person is addicted to you and need you, not just based upon the sex, but that alone is a reason why they're addicted. Okay, now love, you have this charm right here that is the five-pointed star, okay? And the five-pointed star is uh, something that res rep represents wisdom. It represents mercy and justice, okay? Now, love, I see that it is here because it's probably best for you to exit this whole situation but apply mercy to this person. You have really put it on them in a sexual manner. You are someone who is very uh, reliable and a, a lovely asset to this person's life. So just apply mercy to them as you leave and, and justice. Give them uh, their just due, baby. You know, like I can see you're being very wise about getting out of this whole situation, okay? And it may be something that you're doing on a sneak tip, but right now, I can see you're in your shell, Cancer. And this person right here is trying to get you out of your shell by saying all types of freaky things. And they know you don't want to hear, the, hear what they have to say, but they're like, if you want me to shut up, Cancer, then come and sit on my face, okay? So they're trying to get you out of your shell uh, with the whole sex thing. They want you to sit on their face so that they can give you a whole bunch of orgasms. Now love, the card that you, I mean the um, the, the charm that you have to uh, clarify that is the leaf here. Now the leaf is symbolic of rebirth, Cancer. It's symbolic of, you know, somebody trying to rebirth something. It's, it's also a sign of fertility. They maybe want to get you pregnant or they may have already gotten pregnant and they think that they're going to use the child as something to keep you with them. Okay, so it's like this person right here with this leaf, you know, I can see that you want abundance elsewhere because you're not really getting it here. But this person is also trying to use some type of fear tactic like death or something. There may be something wrong with this individual because the leaf represents death as well. So they 
are maybe trying to threaten you with, you know, death or some type of ending of their life or ending of something, okay? Now, the death represents the ending, too. That could be the reason why they are acting this way because they know you're ready to end it with them end the relationship and walk away now that if you have already walked away cancer this person is talking about i suffer more than you know and i'm crying for you please baby i know you love me i know you love me cancer but my darling you have uh clarifying that the uh what's this is the clover okay this is the clover, let's see if I can get it to you sideways here. Okay, the clover. Now the clover is in representation of luck. So luck may be on your side to go ahead and get away from this person who is utilizing their emotions and the sex against you, as well as maybe a child, okay? Now, it is also symbolic of, you know, protection from people's negative energy and hexes, okay? So they are utilizing something on you. Now, the hexes is, uh, you know, in correspondence with this whole five-pointed star, which is a symbol of somebody doing something like a hex as well, okay? Now, love, this Dark Roya cards right here is telling you more about this individual, okay? Here we got the Hierophant here. Love, I can see you have been in a commitment with this person probably for a while now. And this person has been some type of reptilian, fire-breathing dragon at you. It's like they think that if they breathe all this fire at you, that you know they're going to go ahead and make you uh, weak at them. They could be using fair tactics and everything. I can see you go into your shell with the books here, or that you may already be in your shell right now. <clears throat> You could be doing anything in the show. You could be reading. You could be writing. You could be watching TV. You could be doing whatever, love. Just relaxing. And this person is trying to break the shell. They're trying to break you or crack it. Because they know that inside that shell is someone who is very affectionate, very beautiful, very loving, very inviting energy. And it's like, you know, because of what they've been saying to you, you got this uh, defense up against them. The Five of Cups, you have poured out their love because you you are not pleased. You're not satisfied with this individual, so you're looking at them like this. And I feel that there is some type of weapon that you may have uh, that prevents this person from coming towards you, and that's your claws, baby. Okay, now your claws, you got the claws as the cancer right there, which represents the crab. If they come closer to you, you may want to scratch them or something. It may be an all out battle right here, Knight of Pentacles, okay, against you and somebody with some very dark energy. Okay, somebody who is this type of evil uh, creature. And it's like you don't really know what type of creature you're dealing with, love. But it's like with the dragon hair, I can see it as a reptilian type of creature. It's like some type of dragonian, okay? Uh, and it's like they're in human form right now, but their spiritual counterpart comes from another whole world, okay? Now, love, we got the three of swords here. It's very difficult to love. It's a very difficult situation that you find yourself in. This person uses their emotions whenever you defeat them with your uh, energy because they try to come at you with, you know, all types of, I don't know, like threats, Cancer. With the Knight of Pentacles, I can see you have slowed down and how you have been, you know, allowing this person to get under your skin here with all types of ways that they are communicating with you. They are saying all types of reckless things, all types of hateful things that they are throwing at you. And they, it's like um, that's the only way they can get to you because you got the Queen of Swords, which means that your shell is made up of swords, baby. So if they try to hit it, they only going to hurt their damn self okay so they can only breathe all types of you know threats at you all types of things to to defeat you baby five swords okay to defeat you to get down your uh defenses right here it's like this person is speaking to you in that type of way so that they can get your defenses down cancer Hi, darling. Now, love, this reading here is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith. 
Okay. Now, love, I just discovered today that my Lilith is in Cancer, which means that uh, my dark feminine intuitive energy is on Cancer. So I can definitely understand why you'll go in your shell and spend some time alone, love, like why you know you're dealing with people like this, why you would do the things that you do, okay? It's like uh, you have to. Because if you didn't have this shell right here, you'd be very dangerous. <laughs> so I definitely get that, love. Now, my darling, let's go ahead and go from the bottom and clarifying this addiction right here. Yeah, it's like with the nave of uh, water right here. You could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's like a, you try to leave this person. They just come right after you. Put you over their shoulder like that. Your booty belongs to me. And they tie you up some type of way. I'm feeling they tie you up some type of way like... They may they may come and they may come to where you are at. Maybe at a hotel, at a friend's house, or somewhere other than <clears throat> where they are. Okay. Uh, and this person has all types of emotional sex with you. It's like very emotional the way they be speaking to you. And then once they have sex with you, it's like you're theirs again. They put you over their shoulder and take you back home. Okay, Cancer. Now we got the uh, Cancer card, the chariot right here. It's like you are moving away from them. And this person wants you to sit on their face. And right here, they I can see that you do sit on their face from time to time. Okay. Or that you used to. You used to sit on this person's face. You used to ride that tongue, baby. And they knew what to do. Now, this person could be saying that they want you. Uh, they want, you know, they want to sit on your face, baby. But there's these other cards that came out here. It said, Ten of Earth. Whenever you're out there doing something else like working or just in your chilling zone. Okay, out there doing whatever it is that you're doing. Because you got the pentacle to do it, baby. This person right here with their arms folded up like, how come you're not at home? Uh, putting forth this effort to have all kind of sex with me. Here we got the, uh, the uh, what's this? This is the, nay, the Knight of uh, Swords here. It's like you feel like getting up and running from this individual. But they always catch you cancer they always catch you it's like they may catch you when you're in the bed sleep you wake up to this person with their fingers and their tongue and their wand all up in the booty okay in the kitty you're waking up moaning a lot okay you're waking up moaning a lot and this person is like you know all up in you and it's like mm, you don't know what to do about this individual love okay they're too highly uh sexual it's like they're a sex addict and they just want to uh you know focus that on you okay and then we got the uh nine of uh water here it's like they're suffering and crying if you don't give them the kitty if as soon as you don't step on the scene you don't lift up your dress or it could be as soon as you step on the scene they lift up their dress like come here come here and i need you to do something with this kitty I and mean, i'm hot baby i'm hot you are my wish fulfillment i need you to you know do do what you do okay do what you do cancer mm. okay Let's get this uh, knight of, um, or this is the knave, knave of water. Yeah, they come at you very emotionally with conversation. Talk about, I know we're going to make it together, but I need you to trust me. Trust me, let me tie your hands up and put you over my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Let me have sex with you and bring you back home. I need you to trust me. Cancer. Love is too weak to define what I feel for you. So you wake up and this person's all up in the kitty, all over the wall, all up in the booty. And they're talking about, listen, well, what do you expect? I starve for you. I'm starving, baby. I'm starving. And you're like, oh my goodness, top of the deck, baby. We got this person like, I will chase you till the end, cancer. Ooh. Mm. So you got that they they just chasing you, cancer. Okay, there ain't no escape from this person, baby. Bottom of the deck. I love the way you taste. 
oh yeah baby they come to you have all types of oral sex at your job at your school or wherever you are cancer okay they want to taste you they want to taste you so bad here we got i starve for you how could you do me that way okay okay let's get another card here for that pick this one I'm on my knees, I'm begging you, begging you, baby, please, please, I will chase you to the end. Listen, take my money, my heart, my all, now, Cancer. Okay, so they're chasing you down, talk about take everything that I am. But what does the Capra got to say about this individual right here? Love, we got the pathway. And this is somebody in the dark forest. They are coming out of the dark forest. It's like you have your ancestors and angelic beings that are trying to lead you out. That's what the butterflies represent. They're trying to lead you out of this whole situation that you find yourself in with this person. Lead you. Okay, we got the lovers right here. Could be a Gemini. Uh, it's like this person right here just, you know, they hold on to you too tight. They be on their knees begging you. But I feel that there is another lover for you cancer okay but there is someone or some ones in between you and this lover the community it may be family it may be friends somebody telling you uh that this person is no good or somebody telling you that the person who you're with stay with that person and i feel that these people this community these family and so-called friends is telling you to do that because they like seeing you in the uh three of swords they like seeing you all emotional because you're not using your mind you're not being logical and they can utilize you being illogical too now here we got the courthouse here love okay it's time to divorce from family friends this person take the pathway on out to somebody who is a true lover to somebody who is a true lover okay now let's see what signs you're dealing with hair cancer okay first off you have the uh virgo virgo being very evil and vindictive they've been very evil and vindictive you got a cancer this is probably you uh you know saying that you you know approve this message or you're dealing with another cancer here is an aquarius stepping on the scene okay somebody who is just overwhelming we got the fire sign leo aries sagittarius that fire breathing dragon you know so passionate just seems only want to have sex with you here is the gemini love it's like this person got a split personality maybe bipolar we got the venus right here uh you know this is a taurus this is a libra okay so it's like you know they're they're saying that they're the god and goddess of love but it's really the god and goddess of lust here is the water sign another cancer a pisces a scorpio okay now let's go into the moonology about these people love it says a new romantic cycle begins this is a new moon in libra somebody who's going to be more balanced for you somebody who's going to be more just for you a new lover my darling we got communication is the key this is the new moon in gemini okay so it's like communication with this other person who i'm feeling is on your mind and on your heart you want to divorce these other people or separate from them here we have the energy is gaining momentum that is you cancer that is you. You're gaining the energy and the momentum to get away from these other individuals. Now here we got the um, the uh, Manara Erotic Oracle. This is a sharing tales of love and romance. You are telling someone or you're telling people that you are in love with somebody else. You have another person in mind that you love and you're saying that this person loves you because you can feel it in your heart and in your soul that they love you. But this community of people and friends and family is laughing at you. They're saying that this person that you're saying that you're in love with, apparently maybe they know them too. They're saying this person don't want you cancer and that would be a foolish act for you to reach out to them. Stay with the person who you're with. Don't reach out to this person. They're probably calling this person 
person like somebody who is just not a good person. Now we got the confidence and the power of healing. It's like you have to heal from these individuals, which is first of all, stop looking to them for any type of information because they are not people who mean you any good. They want you to be in a uh, emotional state of mind, love. Okay, now we got secrets and discoveries. That's something that you're going to discover about them if you haven't already discovered it. That, you know, you have somebody else that you have on your heart and this person you're going to eventually get to because what's written and what is for you is for you regardless of what and or who is in the way. Okay, but you're going to have to discover some secrets about these people who really are getting a kick out of you being in the Three of Swords energy. Really getting a kick out of you not being logical, just in the emotional state of being. Okay, because they can get whatever they want to get out of you. And that is really them feeding off of your negative energy, your sadness, your tears, Cancer. Okay, those people around you are like probably dragonians themselves evil reptilian beings cancer your recording stopped love people they don't want you to know that <laughs> who they are okay so love yeah like i was saying they're evil reptilian beings in human flesh okay and i'm just going to go ahead and stop it there before this thing act up a little bit more <laughs> cancer I know I went long, baby, but I owe you a long reading, okay? And like I said, I'm going to be doing more of your readings uh, from now on because we are connected, my darling. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and end this reading right here, Cancer. Deuces.